So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this Touch ID issues fix for iOS 10. Now, are you having issues with your Touch ID scanner? You think that it's being, it's not working properly as you can see. It does say unlocked up there, but then you have to press the home button. Well, this is actually a new feature within iOS where if you tap the lock screen and then tap the Touch ID, it just unlocks the lock screen. And you can also go over here and look at your widgets and then go over to your camera. You can kind of press the home button to go back into your lock screen. So they really want you to interact with your lock screen. And a lot of people were complaining with the iPhone 6S and you know 6S Plus that it was going into the lock screen or going into the phone so fast that you couldn't even see what was on your lock screen. And while that might be a legit argument, I didn't think it was a problem, but some people were whining and complaining about that. So Apple went ahead and made your lock screen a lot more, you know, easier to not bypass by pressing the lock button and then having to press the home button to go in. But if you hold down Touch ID, pretty much you can go in every time here, but sometimes it does that stuff right there where you can see it goes in like that. So sometimes it's a little bit glitchy here and there on iOS 10. Now let me confirm that this is iOS 10.1. This is the gold masters of version edition. You could see this is the official release 14A403. And how we're going to do this is we're going to go into general. We're going to scroll down until we get to accessibility and we're going to go all the way down until you see this option right here that says home button. And we're going to go ahead and hit rest finger to open. It says open iPhone with touch ID without having to press the home button. So you go right there and that means that we can just basically hit that. And every time it's just going to go in with touch ID, you can see one for one, two for two, three for three. Let's do it again four for four, five for five. So basically how you had it before the iOS 10 update was available for your iPhone. So remember how to do that. We go into settings. Let's go back and do this one more time. We go into general accessibility. We scroll down till we get to home button and then we go to rest finger to open. So I know that might be simple for some of you, but I think not everybody knows about that. And it's our job as a community to share these tips and tricks with each other. So we have the best possible technology experience we could have with these devices that we do use. I did show you this on the iPhone SE. You might have a 6S, a 5S, and this applies only to Apple devices from 5S and later with touch ID fingerprint recognition. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this quick video, I know I just dropped a video earlier, but I had to get this one out because it was actually bugging me a little bit as well. So I had to go out and make this video really quickly here. If you guys found this helpful, please go ahead, click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel for more technology tips, reviews, tutorials, blogs, and all kinds of everything and anything that comes to my technology life. And just have fun over here on Everything Tech, Nick Ackerman channel. And have a great day wherever you are. I know I will. Be sure to be well and share this with anybody who's having this issue. And peace.